something wriggling out of the shadow like a gray snake. Now it's another one and another one and another one. October 30th, 1938. A fictional invasion by Martians on the radio spooks Americans on Halloween Eve. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indescribable. I can hardly force myself to keep looking at it. It's so awful. The eyes are black and they gleam like a serpent. The mouth is that's kind of V-shaped with saliva dripping from its rimless lips. It seemed to... Oh, those and pulsating. As the live drama The War of the World, starring Orson Welles, airs on CBS. The play's fake news reports panic some listeners who think the Martian invasion is real. 1998. In Nicaragua, a mudslide caused by Hurricane Mitch kills at least 2,000 people. 1974. It's the rumble in the jungle in Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo. Muhammad Ali knocks out George Foreman in the eighth round of a 15-round bout, regaining his world heavyweight title. Uh, and 2000. I want to give you the bad news first. This program is going to go on forever. <laughs> Boy, you think you're tired now. <laughs> Steve Allen, comedian, TV host, author, and composer, dies in Encino, California. Allen, the first host of NBC's Tonight Show, was 78 years old. Today in history, October 30th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.